Hello guys, this is Emmanuel from WindowsReport.com. In this video, we're gonna show you how to fix HDMI output problems in Windows. So as you know, HDMI is quite popular connection method when it comes to displays because it provides highest quality. So it's no wonder that so many people are using it. Speaking of HDMI, some Windows 10 users have reported HDMI output problems. Before showing you all the solutions, I have to remember you that in the article down below you'll find a link to a very useful tool that you can use to scan and troubleshoot your PC and it also can help uh, solving this issue as well. So the most common problem with HDMI is that audio or video is missing and in most cases that's caused by driver incompatibility. But there are a few things that you can do. If there's no sound, you need to do these steps for the sound drivers. And if video is missing, do the steps for the video drivers. So to see all the drivers and have the possibility to uninstall or even roll back, you just have to open your start button and then you have to type in their control panel. Once you open your control panel, you'll have to search the device manager. So you go here in the upper right hand side and you write in their device. And you'll find here under devices and printers, you'll find device manager. So this is device manager. As you can see here, you have all the drivers that you need and you'll be able to easily uninstall or roll back the drivers that you want. For example, if you have some problems with the video drivers, you just go to display adapters and then right click and uninstall. And if you have problems with sound, you go to sound and here you'll have the high definition audio device or even all the devices, maybe your microphone or your headphones that you're using. So once again, you have to right click, disable device or uninstall, or as I said, you can roll back by clicking on properties and then go to driver and you'll have the option of roll backing the driver, but that option will be available only if the driver has been updated since the beginning. So um, talking about drivers, you will have to update your drivers if the problems are not solved because Microsoft Windows will try to find the best drivers, but it doesn't find them always. So to update them, you can just visit your graphic card or motherboard manufacturer's website and download the latest drivers. But we also have a uh, recommended tool on our website, you can check out the article down below. And that tool is very very easy to use and it will automatically download all the outdated drivers on your PC. If you are using a laptop, maybe it's better to download drivers from the laptop manufacturer instead. We also have to mention that in certain cases all drivers can work better, so if the latest drivers aren't working for you, Follow the steps from previous solution to uninstall them and download older versions of the drivers. So if you let's say download the driver from the official website, you'll have to try to run the driver in compatibility mode because Windows 10 still has compatibility issues with the drivers. So sometimes it's best that you install them in compatibility mode. So to do that, you just have to right click on your executable, then go to properties. And here you have to select the compatibility tab. And then you'll have to run this program in compatibility mode 4. And you select from that drop down list Windows 7. And that should be the problem solver. The driver should be installed correctly and easy. Also, you can set your secondary display. If you're using HDMI to connect a second display, try setting it over at NVIDIA control panel. Or if you use AMD graphics, use its control panel instead. The process is the same for both cards. Open NVIDIA control panel and go to set up multiple displays. So if your HDMI connected display isn't showing, try checking and unchecking the other ones on the list. So this sounds like an obscure solution, but some users have reported that it has helped them to enable their HDMI display. Also, there might be situations when your problem is hardware related. And in this case, in the article down below, you'll have some links 
of some highly rated products that you could buy to make sure HDMI output works great on your Windows 10. So that would be all. Those are the solutions. I have to remember you don't forget to check out the article because in the article you have a lot of useful links that can help you. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, I was Emmanuel from WindowsReport.com, of course. Have a nice day.